Hey there, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. Um, tonight, I want to talk to you about biting your tongue. Um, it's probably the hardest thing that you will have to do. Um, but I promise you that it will make your life so much better. And here's why if people are coming at you I don't care what they're coming after you for I don't care what they're coming at you about they're coming at you they're coming aggressively at you they are they're, they you hear somebody's talking behind your back you hear that somebody's telling lies behind your back you hear you have somebody coming to your face trying to tell you how to live your life Biting your tongue is actually a superpower. And let me tell you how it's done. You're not literally biting your tongue. I just say it because it's difficult to do. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to sit there. You're going to take whatever it is that's coming at you. They're telling you how your life has to be. They're telling you, well, so-and-so told me this and I think you're wrong for this. You just sit and listen. You just sit and listen. That's all you do. Don't, don't, don't think about responding. Listen to what they're saying. And if you listen close enough, you're going to hear the tone in their voice is going to change at certain points of what they're saying. When you notice that tone change, that's what you want to keep in your mind. So when it becomes your turn to talk, you can politely tell them that you appreciate that they're, if it's them telling you how to live your life, you could tell them that you appreciate their opinion and, and you know, that, that maybe that's how it worked for you. But I'm not you and the things that I want are different. You don't have to tell them what you want. You, you don't have to give them that information. That's none of their business. If they ask and you don't want to tell them, you can tell them, well, I'm working on some things. I'm really not comfortable with sharing it at this moment. That's it. That's it. And the key, if you hear that somebody comes to you and they tell you, oh, well, I heard so-and-so said this behind your back. Why are you doing this to that person? You can literally tell them, I'm not doing anything. You're the first person telling me this. So how am I knowing that there's some problem? The person who came to you with the problem of me, did they come to me about it to tell me? No. Bite your tongue. Because the truth is, the person that went and told them so then they would come and tell you was trying to manipulate them. So then you would come back and be mad at them and make a fool of yourself. And then they can twist your words and go back and tell these people how mean and rotten you are. Bite your tongue. <laughs> the other thing, if you hear gossip about you, here's how you bite your tongue about that. You laugh. <laughs> you laugh and go, oh wow, what did I do after that? <laughs> here's why. Here's why. Because they're trying to get a reaction out of you. When you bite your tongue, you're not giving them a reaction. A person who is genuine, who is authentic, and who loves themselves would never come at you like that. They just wouldn't. They would show respect. Even if they, even if they had an issue with you, they would be respectful about it. You would have a, 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 I like to say, come to Jesus conversation where you both come to an understanding that you both can live with. Now, if they're going behind your back, they're doing all this stuff, you bite your tongue. Here's why. Here's why you bite your tongue. <laughs> the biggest thing. My friend Andy Fox taught me this years ago. He says, kill them with kindness. Because you can't fight kindness. You can't. If somebody's coming at you, like coming at you, and you are kind and you are polite, you're not tolerating it. But you're kind and you're polite in how you handle it. Can they continue to act the fool that they are? No. The reason they're coming at you the way they are is because they want 
you to be on the defense. They want this to turn into an argument. And when you kill them with kindness and politeness, you just took away, you just took away all their power. Literally, you took away all their power. They didn't get the reaction from you that they wanted. So at this point, they've got one of two choices. They can continue being how they've been when they came at you. Or they can at that point go, well shit, no, I look like the asshole, so now I have to be kind and polite. Which is usually what happens. Unless you're dealing with a true asshole, and that goes for men and women. Um, if you're dealing with a true asshole, then they're going to come at you again. But at that point, you just raise your tone a little bit and be firm and say, nope, this is how it is. This is what I said, and I'm sticking to it. And that's it. There is no more conversation. Because they can't fight that. And if they try to, you literally just repeat what you said. Nope, this is how it is. I'm going to walk away now because I've had to repeat myself two or three times. And that tells me that this isn't productive. So why don't you contact me when, you know, we're able to actually have a productive conversation. And you walk away or you hang up. Literally, literally life changing. Everybody who wants to manipulate, control you, and play games with you, you kill them with kindness, you be kind and polite. Because you cannot fight kindness and politeness. You cannot. It makes you look like a bigger asshole. <laughs> so do not, do not, do not open your mouth, get defensive, and upset when somebody comes at you. Literally, bite your tongue and respond with kindness and politeness. You don't have to agree with them. You can say whatever you want as long as you are calm and polite about it. Look at reality. And the more you do this, hold on buddy, the more you do this, the more you get, the more you're able to just do it and it just happens when, when, it, when somebody comes at you. Initially, you're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and then you're like, okay, I got what's going on. All right, bite my tongue. All right, listen to what's going on. Respond with kindness and politeness. And let's just move this along. And <clears throat> once, once you feel that you have made it to where it needs to go, you know, then you can up and walk away. And then that's when you can do the whole arm's length and possibly weed them out if that's what's necessary. But biting your tongue is a tool <laughs> that is the toughest to do, but <laughs> the most rewarding. Because later on in your life, when people talk about you, people will be like, you know, I saw her dealing with somebody else before. She doesn't come across, she's, she doesn't act like that. And it makes them look foolish. So bite your tongue because honestly that was probably one of my hardest lessons to learn in adulthood was learning to bite my tongue I came from came from a family that that if you had a problem you came in hellbent and you're gonna scream your 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 obscenities and your stuff at them and they're just gonna listen but because you came in that way, the other family member is now coming back at you. This is the family I came from. The truth is, it never did any good. All it did was cause fighting. As I got older, and I had to deal with my family members, there was going to be peace if I was going to be present. And I would always let the, the family members that would fight with each other, I would always let them know so-and-so is going to be here, so-and-so is going to be here. We're not fighting because we're here for a wedding, a funeral, somebody's sick, whatever it is. We're going to focus on this and put our differences aside. If we can't do that, I'm going to ask you to leave. You gave everybody a heads up of what you expected. 99% of the time, it turns out just fine. So, learn to bite your tongue. <laughs> it's not its not an easy thing to do, but practice. Uh, and when you feel like you can't, here was, here was my biggest thing when I was learning to bite my tongue, was I depended on certain friends that I had that 
I could, I could, I could contact and I could get it off my chest. I could vent things that I wanted to say, but I had to bite my tongue because I've got some great friends and um, they'll listen. They'll listen because they know that I just need to get it off my chest and I'll do the same for them. So again, contact information is below. Feel free to reach out, send me a message, whatever. Text me, email me, give me a call. Um, you can vent to me if you need to. I'll help you keep your tongue bitten. <laughs> so you don't have to deal with this anymore. After a while of doing this, people then realize that they can't push your buttons, that they can't trigger you because you're not playing on their terms. And they can't they, they can't win against they can't win against kindness and politeness. So that's what biting your tongue is. So if you feel the need that you need to vent and figure this out, contact information's below. <laughs> Anyways, have a nice night guys. Love you. Bye.